if this is a computation and a simulation, is there some consciousness, higher consciousness that is operating this? Like, what is the point of reality? What is the point of consciousness? I can imagine uh, a religious person hearing the idea that this is a simulation or a computation. I could imagine there being some like fe feathers potentially ruffled. I thought also that uh, religious people would have a quarrel with what I was saying. But as it turned out, that's not, that's not the case. I've had any number of people who, well, this is one, one lady wrote me an email and, and said, Tom, I am a very religious person. I've always been very serious about my religion. She happened to be Christian. And she said, now everywhere I go, I take two books with me, the Bible and my big toe. And I was really pleased with that. I thought, well, that's wonderful. But I've gotten that 10 times more than I've gotten any negativity. I've gotten almost no negativity. And what these people see is they see the larger consciousness system, which is what you're saying. Is there any larger entity? Is there a larger thing there? Yes, it's the larger consciousness system. Now, we're just pieces of that system. We're just subsets. If you're into computer talk, we're virtual machines inside the mainframe. You know, we're, we're subsets of it, so we have all the attributes of it. Us and the larger conscious system are both, you know, individuated units of consciousness. It's just we're very small, and it's much larger, has a much bigger viewpoint. Or like a fractal of God. Yeah, we're a piece of that larger consciousness system. So as we evolve, our, our you know, entropy is lowered. We evolve the quality of our consciousness, which is the same way as saying, we lower the entropy of our consciousness. We evolve the quality of our consciousness. The whole system actually gets bumped up a tiny bit because we are a part of that system. What is up? I want to first of all, thank you for being here. And secondly, announce we are doing a giveaway for subscribers of this channel. All you need to do for a chance to win sweet prizes such as this portable red light from Mito Red Light. Also be giving away the Mito Pro, which is a larger panel is subscribe to the channel. Extra entries will be given out for people commenting on episodes and extra entries also be given out for sharing this episode and tagging me, Aaron Alexander, on Instagram. So every 5,000 subscribers, we will announce a new winner. We'll be doing this at least up to 100,000 subscribers. So that is it. Subscribe, comment, share for a chance to win sweet prizes. Good luck to you and I appreciate you being here. So yes, uh, you know, there's this relationship between us and the system. We're pieces of it. It created us. It, it made these subsets, these virtual machines, because otherwise its evolution was stalled. It was just one consciousness interacting with itself. But if you give multiple consciousnesses free will, now they're going to get different viewpoints eventually, and that will make for a lot more possibilities of what you can, you know, what you can do, ideas you can come up with. So the more entities you have with free will interacting positively with each other, the more synergy you can develop between all those free wills. So that was the reason why the individuated units of consciousness were developed. It, it created these subsets of itself. But now it is the operating system, if you like that. It's also the computer that's computing. So the larger consciousness system takes a part of itself, configures it like a computer, and computes this virtual reality. So consciousness is fundamental. Everything else is virtual. Consciousness is the source of everything else. Now, then somebody will ask, well, where did that source come from? Well, we can't answer that. And that's not because we're not smart enough we can't answer that because we're pieces of that consciousness and we can't get outside of consciousness to look at consciousness from an objective viewpoint. So it's, it's not that there's an infinite regression of what created consciousness and what created the thing that created the thing that created consciousness. That's not the way it goes. It's just that logically we can't be objective about what created consciousness. We just can't go there. And in my book, I make an analogy of a bacterium in your stomach. It doesn't know anything about 
gardening or, or refrigerators or light bulbs in refrigerators or any of the other thing that leads to food coming down, you know, from, from the mouth into the stomach where the bacteria works on it. So you just can't get outside of yourself to understand things that are beyond, you know, what you can experience. 